Excellent. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Already they're here. They're, they're waiting. They've been waiting patiently. My guides tuning in. I've been channeling most of the day. Uh, okay, thinking channeling their forecast. They just said their forecast and, and what's to come and what's happening on your planet right now. Many, 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 many changes. And many of you have heard this time and time and time again. They just said, okay, thank you. Um, okay, so the change is really going on for, for humanity, for mankind at this moment, and it's about the changes that are happening for each and every one of you at this time. So it's about you upgrading yourself, making it a responsibility for you to you so that you can upgrade yourself as you move forward on your journey as the human. OK, they just said, uh, OK, and now they're going to go for the writing. OK, thank you very much. So they said. The great dilemma of the human consciousness. So I'm just reading about what they've just said. The great dilemma of the human consciousness of change that is upon you right now. And boy, are we feeling it. Some of you might be feeling that tiredness at the moment. Some of you might be feeling mixed emotions at the moment, like a sort of wave of energy that is creeping upon your planet, they just sort of said. Go with the flow. Allow yourself just to travel with the flow of it. The more there is resistance, the harder you will find it. Many of you, we know that do that human job. And we know that it's easier said than done when we say take it easy, rest. We want you to be more mindful of resting, eating more healthily and looking at the toxins that you may have around you. Now, when they say about the toxins, this is just not only about food, environment, air, also, the people that are around you, there'll be, I think they said, many of your people will be going through many different times and stages of their awakening, their awareness internally within them. And you're at a different stage because you're actually here on this group. You are listening to all the information. You're hearing this recorded message. So at this moment on your planet, there is great change, they just said. OK, back to my channeled writing, like automatic writing. They said the awareness of your planet, there is great changes. The human being has been shown many levels of themselves and also be aware of unfairness or injustices on your planet right now. You're going to become more aware of that. The awakening is happening a lot quicker than what was predicted, they just said. OK, thank you. Got it. So we know over the last couple of years, there's been a lot of change on your planet. There will be a lot of human changes through work or what has ha ever happened to you over that pandemic going back, how life has had to change. And now we go back into who the human part of ourselves in the sense of making the structures in our lives, there may have been great changes for you. So those who you are aware of the great changes that you've gone through, whatever's happened to you over the last couple of years, you are rising and becoming aware at a higher speed, a higher frequency to others. So there may be also, thank you, they said, of being unaware of what day of the week it is or days have gone by so fast or losing track of time. It's because it's zooming by in one and then the other, it sort of slows down. So it's about the reality of what's going on in your world, in your mind and how you're seeing things will affect actually how you travel through this whole process. But at this moment in time, just to keep check of where you're at, where you are at, grounding yourself, finding what works for you at this moment, finding those golden nuggets. So those golden nuggets, anything, it could be that, you know, going outside by the sea or going outside in nature is going to help you at this moment in time. It's going to be the most important thing for you is to know yourself better. What works for one person won't work for another person. If you sit there and you love having the crystals on your lap and then tune into the crystals, that might be your thing. It might be that you go and you meet up with other like-minded people that feel very similar to yourself. You're in that collective energy that will be restorative, that will help you on your journey right now. But it's really about being aware of know thyself so that it can help you on your journey. Thank you. Okay. It says, once the human becomes more aware of the reality, they become more aware of their um enforcements that's interesting ah enforcements okay thank you i'll just ask them what they meant they meant the construction the constructs that keep them small or keep them in their place so something that you'd be quite happy about with or go with the flow of okay thank you i'll use this so for instance your health system that we've always been signed up to and we know that we wait patiently to go uh, and wait for that doctor's appointment or in different parts of the world it's very different you might pay for it in a different way whatever and now there is, say, for instance, on the UK, we've, we've all put funds into this National Health Service. And then now it's like when we're waiting for an appointment, it takes a lot longer for us to get that appointment. Now, before we would have just gone with the flow of it and accepted it and say, oh, just as this is how it is. Now this real awakening internally within ourselves saying, 
no, I don't want to wait. I, you know, I deserve to have appointment when I should get this appointment. Or even looking at the, I think I don't want to mention that, but those just said about the banking systems, everything around you, all the structures that have been in place for many, 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 many centuries, many years. Now there is this big change on the planet and it's affecting each and every one of us. And those who are more awakened will say, no, I'm not comfortable with this anymore. No, I know what it is I want. No, it's unfair. Why can I not be seen when I want to be seen? That awakening with inside of you, knowing that you do deserve more or want more the your reality is beginning to change around you and when your reality of how you see your world and how you see yourself changes it affects everything around you the people around you everything okay thank you uh, okay he says it's through the uncertain times which creates unbalance within the human existence that the human reaches for more understanding of their lives and what is affecting them so through all these great changes it's what's affecting you in your lifetime is saying to yourself no i don't want that anymore or i deserve better so this is what's going on and it can feel quite tiring at the moment with all the information that you're being bombarded with and falling down of all structures of how we've done things before okay okay and they said it's through the destruction and breaking down like the great forest fires that regrowth grows and creates the rebirth of the new and that's where we're at it's time to start preparing and creating a new reality of existence which fits and fills in for each individual of yourselves the human mind creates through restrictions and then so forth creates limited beliefs so look at who you are what you are what's going on for you and where there needs to be changes psychologically inside yourself because psychologically part of ourselves creates that energy that's moving forward also affects our unified fields around us and affects our reality of how we see things okay okay it then says by training the mind and to find peace within the chaos helps create the your connections with source so the more that you break down the illusions of what you thought your life was about or how you have felt your life has been about for many years, when you break down that illusion, you can create those changes and move out of the chaos. And that's their message. OK, so one of the cards, I was shuffling the cards and we have these ones. Let's have a look. The spirit messages. And that's from John Holland. And when I was shuffling the cards, they tend to have a habit of jumping out the cards. And the card that I that was chosen tonight was this one. It says, just ask. So this time is space. So whenever you are listening to this recording, if you are coming across this card, it's connected to you in some shape or form. It's about helping you. You needed to hear a message. And the message from them is, there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. And that is the card. So if you're seeing this card right now, that is the answer to the message that you had set in your mind that you needed to hear some information. Okay, thank you. And as they have just said to me, the message here is that you reach out and you ask for assistance and guides, that you do not sit there and feel that you are stuck in life, that by reaching out and asking for assistance, then you will receive those that need to pop in to help you. OK, thank you. And they just said, and by being fully aware of your higher self, your higher consciousness that will assist you too, and direct those to you around you and everything that you need, you have around you. They just said, OK, thank you. So that's the messages for you right now if you're hearing this. So as we start to become ready for our meditation, I suggest that if you have crystals, you hold them or place them somewhere nearby, that you, if you can, you have that candle that's lit to bring in the light. You're setting that intention to connect to source, to divine. We will start in a moment and when I come back or when I try to bring you back, I will bring you this sound. And that will bring you back into the physical space that you have around you. Now, whether you have done meditations or not before, let's just go with whatever you hear from my voice. I will be channeling the information. And if your mind decides to wander off, you bring it back to my voice. You might find that it might feel more comfortable sitting up or lying down, whatever you need. Your feet ideally should be grounded, but if not, that's fine. Some people find it easier to take shoes off, to place in their feet on the ground, whatever it is that you need for you. Only you will know you, they just said. 
this information will be channeled so that you can hear it. So when you're ready, we just gently wish you to close your eyes. And we wish you just to allow your body this time and space. We wish you now just to tune into your body, being aware of your breath, being aware of where the breath travels through your body. If you have a busy mind and need to be active, keep bringing yourself back to this moment, hearing my voice. As you allow in my voice to travel through your ears, allow the voice to move down through your neck, all the way down through your throat, bringing it down on your breath, hearing the tone of the voice as you allow it to travel down deeper and deeper through the body. Allow the word love to settle within the rib cage, within the heart. Whether you see the word love or feel the word love and allowing the love to hit your heart with a gentle vibrational beat. And as you are aware of the breath within your body, allowing your rib cage to extend fully now as we work with the energy of the soul. And as you allow the breath to flow down to the stomach, opening the channels down further now, traveling down to the pelvis. Within the pelvis, allow your pelvis to fully expand, allowing your organs to gently rock within the cradle of your pelvis. And as if the breath now, as it gently breathes in and breathes out, allowing the breath to follow down through the base of the spine, traveling down deeper, down through the tops of the legs, feeling into the thigh muscles as you travel down with that breath, pushing your awareness down from your knees, traveling down to the calf muscles, down to your ankles. And as you're aware of your breath within your ankles now, being aware now of your feet, being aware of each of your digits, of your bones, your toes, and allowing your feet to connect to planet Earth. And as you become aware of your feet, as your toes are there holding on to the earth, just like the tree from the trunk of the body, you become aware of how you anchor your roots through the soles of your feet, all the way down like a tree. Imagine those roots as they flow down, following the pathways of the rivers, following deeper and deeper down through the streams, coming down further now into the oceans of the worlds and allowing that vibration of energy to flow within, just like the sea line of the seashore, as you allow the energy rising up from the earth, allowing the frequency of the earth to rise up through your body and allowing yourself to feel in to the energy of the earth. And as the earth begins to turn, begin to anchor yourself more. There's this great turning on your planet at this moment. Feeling that motion now within the earth as it gently shifts. Being aware of this energy, of the green energy rising up through the soles of your feet, up through your legs. And as you allow that energy to rise up to the base chakra, the base of your spine. Be aware of the red energy, the fire that burns within, the passion that feeds up through the back of your spine. 
And as you allow the energy to rise up within the orange energy, with the chakra system, sacral now within the pelvis, allow the orange energy to glow brighter. Feel the warmth of the orange energy of light, allowing your cells to be nourished. And as when you breathe, bring up the next energy surge of light, bring up higher as you allow it to rise up into your stomach. On the in-breath within the stomach region of the solar plexus, be aware of the yellow energy as it rises and shines bright. Allow the energy to sit within your stomach. Allow it to feed your organs and to nourish you. And as you allow that energy on the in-breath to rise up higher within the heart, allow your energy to rise into your heart. And as your ribs begin to open and allowing your heart to extend fully out, allow the color pink to come in to bless and heal the energy. And as we're there within the heart energy center right now, be aware of those who've recently passed. Be aware to vibrate and to send out with love to those who need healing on our planet. Send healing to the souls who have recently passed and send healing and love and light to the energies around us. Send the energy of the heart out into the unified field. Be aware of the love that shares and links and bridges us here and bonds us together. Be aware on the breath as you bring the breath up higher how you're allowing your energy to rise up through your throat. Be aware of the sky blue energy of the butterfly as she gently opens her wings to expand. And as the voice becomes freer and your voice becomes louder and your voice has the courage of the lion, allow the butterfly to gently flap her wings and to allow herself to rise up through the energy of your soul. And as you become a one with your energy of your soul, be aware of the light that you begin to see so much clearer as you allow your third eye to open more, feeling the third eye of the presence on the front of the forehead and at the back of the skull. Be aware of the lighthouse, of the beam of light that seeks out the truth in our life. Be aware as it shines upon the energy of the earth and shows us what it is that we wish and need to see at this time. And as you're there within this breath, being aware as we send the breath higher up for our body, we allow ourselves to begin that greater connection to source as we spread out our energy within ourselves, pushing out our energy field, almost like the breath as you blow into the balloon, as you push it out and allowing your unified field of energy to connect, send your auric energy out. Be aware of who you are. Step into those shoes of who you are. And allowing as the crown chakra opens above your head, you begin to connect to source and the divine light. And just like the Wi-Fi light, connecting now higher and higher, spreading your energy out now. Being aware of who you are, who you once were, and who you are to become. There is no time difference as you look back at your life and see that you have traveled many times before. Being aware of the reality of your life and the illusion of your mind of how it sees yourself. And as you are there now, finding yourself in that space, that white light of energy, 
the light that connects you to source. There are no boundaries. It is a limitless space. And as you're there within that space, be aware of the colors as they gently fold into place. Receive the colors that your soul needs. The lilacs, pinks, greens, yellows, reds. Whatever color that you need at this time, ask for it to be given. Ask for the color to feed your soul. Be aware of the color and where your physical form feels the light of the warmth of the color that you need at this time. Fully absorb in the color, whether it's to your heart, to your soul, to your mind, to your voice. Wherever you need to receive the light, feel into the light more. Feeling the particles as they flow into the pores of your flesh. You're in a limitless space. No time. There are no restrictions. Allowing yourself to receive the information that you need. And if there was a question that you had within your soul, that you need guidance at this time in your own mind set that question bring it to mind and send it out into the universe to your guides for guidance ask for guidance at this time as guidance will be given and however you receive your answer whether it's for a color a voice, a symbol, a sound, or a knowing. Allow yourself to receive. Hear your guides, your loved ones, the universe, as they communicate with you now in this time and space. As they work with you, Ask them again to check to make sure of your answer. Receiving the question, receiving the answer, the ebb and flow of time, knowing that it will be given, knowing that the answer is just there, almost within your space, that you can feel that you're embracing the answer, like your hand is stretched out to receive and draw it in closer into your heart center. Allow this awareness of light, awareness of the answer that you have been searching for and allowing your guides to deliver. And as you are there in this limitless space, allowing your loved ones to step closer, your guides, the universe, angels, God, the divine source, and allow it to amalgamate with your energy source, allowing almost to say that you're returning back to source, feeling into the energy as you're allowing yourself to expand fully, receiving with love as you stand before us, we see you, we hear you, we feel into your energy, we are one with you. And as you are breathing into that space, allowing this time, allowing awareness of who you are, of how you are showing up into the universe at this time, your reality is taking shape and form. It is creating where you are, allowing yourself to reach out, to spread out even further now as your energy, you're pushing it out as if you are blowing the candles out on your birthday cake. Be aware as you blow them out that you're extending your energy of light 
out into the universe, connecting with source. Further and further as you allow yourself to extend, leaving the external space where you are seated or laying. Be aware as if this bubble of light of your energy field spreads further out as you're allowing yourself to connect, seeing the stars, the planets of the galaxy, being aware of the light beings around you, knowing you are being observed, knowing your light is being healed. And as you're aware of your space, as you become aware of your answers to your questions, as you become aware of when you return, you will have this strong knowing that the questions have been answered. There is great healing for you here at this time. And as you're breathing into that breath of your physical form, you begin to become aware as you start that process of bringing back your energy, like sucking in the energy with the breath. Drawing your energy in, good. And again on the in breath, bringing your energy in more as you're allowing that energy field around you to become one with you. And as you be aware of the energy as you draw it back down through your body, as each of the chakras, the energy centers begin to gently close up. You become more aware of your physical self as you continue that process of bringing your energy in. And again, breathe in. Draw your energy back in. Good. And breathing gently out. Good. When you're ready to breathe in again, bring in your energy filled more. Good. And as you bring in your energy field, have a knowing that your own energy picks up the external energy from the universe, that you bring in the healing qualities and the particles of space and time, that the healing light brings the energy back into your pores. And as you become aware of the physical self on that breath, Becoming aware of your feet that are resting upon the ground where you are. Beginning to be aware of how the body begins to feel different as you're allowing yourself to adjust to a spatial leap of faith and trust. And as I begin that process of counting to three, you begin that process of beginning to connect to your physical form of your body. One, be aware of your physical torso, your back, your arms, your shoulders, your legs. Two, being aware of that breath and your eyelids as you're sitting there waiting. And three, as you take a deep breath in, release, let go. You gently become aware of your physical body. Begin that process of opening your eyes when you're ready. Coming back into your space and bringing back the information that you needed to hear. Taking a sip of water if you have water with you. If you want to stretch like a cat to stretch back into your body. And taking a moment to come back into that physical space. Come back. Come back wherever you've been. Come back into that space. 